Today, Dr. Shrink will be wrapping this pontoon boat. The techniques and principles used here may be applied to almost any pontoon boat on the market. First, we will begin by prepping the pontoon boat for storage. Make sure that all portable tables and chairs are removed and stowed, and the bimini is down as flat as it can go, as the shrink wrap structure will fully enclose this part of your pontoon boat. Now we are ready to begin creating the support structure for your shrink wrap project. First, start off by measuring the highest points on your pontoon boat with the bimini laid flat. Typically the highest point will be the bimini or the windscreen at the cockpit. Add at least 12 to 18 inches to that height and that will give you the suggested height of your support posts. For this application, we will be using two support posts with a top and bottom cap. A general rule of thumb is to use one support post for every eight foot in overall pontoon length with a minimum of two for your project. For this 20 foot boat, we will use two total support posts. Once your support posts are measured and cut to length, secure the bottom and top caps to them and begin working on the strapping structure for your project. We prefer using the cleats and or rail systems on the side walls of your pontoon as anchor points for your strapping. Here we will now show a set of diagrams and video clips illustrating the recommended strapping system that will successfully shed snow load and be suitable for transportation. First, make sure the bimini is flat. Place your support posts equal distance from each other to provide a stable substructure for your shrink wrap project. Next, secure your support posts in place with strapping tied to the port and starboard side of your pontoon boat. Tie off strapping to the top rail along the side walls and pull taunt over your support post, keeping your support post level, and staple the strapping to the top to secure in place. Next, tie strapping to the top rail along the opposite side and secure to your other strap using a buckle. Use a strap tensioning tool to get proper tension. Repeat this step for both support posts and be sure to tape over your buckle when finished. Next, we will illustrate the support strapping system from the bow to the stern of the pontoon boat. This boat has an open deck at the bow and stern with cleats, which are ideal for tying off your strapping. We will use the cleats to create a V pattern with your strapping, as illustrated here, and we'll tie a center support strap to the tip of each V and pull taunt over the support posts, stapling at the top just as we did for the starboard and port strapping. Secure the bow and stern strapping in the center with a buckle. Use a strap tensioning tool to ensure proper tension. Again, like the port and starboard straps, be sure to tape over your buckle. This prevents hot spots and potential burning during the shrinking process. To finish your strapping substructure, we recommend using a super cap. This super cap illustrated here is placed on the top of your top caps and provides a greater surface area for your shrink wrap to rest on, giving your pontoon boat better protection from snow loads. To install a super cap, simply place over the top of your top cap and tie off with your existing strapping structure. Now that the substructure is complete, we are ready to install the shrink wrap. Drape your shrink wrap over the pontoon boat from the stern towards the bow, unfolding your shrink wrap once you have draped the entire boat. Once the boat has been completely draped, you can cut excess shrink wrap and prepare for installation of the perimeter band. Run the band beginning at the stern around the perimeter of the pontoon boat over your shrink wrap just under the deck where the two of your pontoon is secured to the deck. If you are wrapping on a trailer, you can cover the winch as illustrated here. Using a buckle and strap tensioning tool, connect the two ends of the perimeter band at the stern and tension your strap. You are now ready to start shrinking your shrink wrap. First, you will begin by creating your weld at the perimeter band. This weld is no different than the welds used in other shrink wrap applications. Fold the wrap over the perimeter band and weld your shrink wrap around the entire perimeter of the pontoon boat. When this is complete, be sure to secure with belly bands. These are secured by cutting a small slit in your weld just above the perimeter band. Loop a short piece of strap through the slit and tie down to the brackets securing the pontoons to the decks as illustrated here. If you do not have room or available space to secure your belly bands here, 
you can run it under the deck and secure to the perimeter band on the opposite side. This will keep your shrink wrap held in place when the cover is shrunk. Now that your belly band is in place and your perimeter has a solid weld, we will now shrink the entire cover. Much like any shrink wrap project, move in steady even strokes heating the wrap to avoid burning. Shrink in sections, shrinking the lower portion of the boat first, and moving to the top and shrinking those sections with an extension on your heat tool. Now that your entire cover has been shrunk, we will tape your seams. Using heat shrink tape, tape over any of the seams created along your cover to ensure a quality hold during transportation. Even if you're not going to transport your wrapped pontoon boat, it is still a good idea to tape your seams, as this will ensure a tight seal if harsh weather arises while your boat is wrapped for the storage season. We will continue by adding vents to your cover to ensure positive airflow, which will help avoid moisture buildup under your cover. To add a vent, take off the self-adhesive backer and place on your shrink wrap cover. Using a utility knife, cut out your shrink wrap at the base. Once this is completed, simply snap the cover to the base. Your vent is now complete. For this particular pontoon boat, we will use four vents, two at the bow and two at the stern. For a complete vent chart and diagram, visit us online at drshrink.com. That's dr-shrink.com. To finish our shrink wrap project, we will install a zipper access door. This will allow you to easily access the interior of your pontoon boat during the storage season. Place the zipper access door at a location near an entry door to your pontoon. Here we are mounting at the stern. Place your door over your cover and tape the perimeter using heat shrink tape. When this is complete, open your cover and cut out an opening in your shrink wrap. Zip the cover back up, and you now have an easy access point to your pontoon boat during the storage season. You have now successfully shrink wrapped your pontoon boat. For more information on shrink wrapping and additional how to training videos, visit our YouTube channel or visit us online at drshrink.com. That's dr shrink.com. You may also contact our customer service department and they will be more than happy to assist you in any way they can. If you prefer hands-on training, contact us to discuss Shrink Wrap U, our one-day on-site course that will take you through the entire shrink wrap process.